Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to my three takeaways episode from the Steve Bartkowski interview this past Monday. I hope you guys absolutely loved the interview. He was such a humble guy, and I loved listening to him talk about his experiences that he had in the NFL, talking about leadership, talking about his relationships and his family and how he's trying to work on those. I think there's just so much great content in this episode, so I hope you guys got a lot out of it. My personal favorite was how he talked about putting other people's goals first, and that's going to be one of the takeaways, so stay tuned for that. But if you guys like the episode, give this podcast a five-star review. Give it a rate review. Tell me what your favorite part of the podcast is or favorite part about this episode was. That way I can – gives me good feedback on what kind of guests I should bring on, what kind of conversations we should have, what kind of questions that I can ask them because I want to make sure I'm serving you guys in the best way possible so the, so the more feedback I get, the better I can do that. Right in my three takeaways. Number one is give everyone your autograph. Now, obviously, not everybody is asking for your autograph. Not everybody is asking for your signature. But this has a lot of relevancy out of outside of actually just giving somebody your signature because it's all about giving everybody the time of day, your focus, effort, and energy. This is a lesson that his dad taught him really early on. His dad said, if somebody's going to take the time out of their day to think of you on a high enough level to ask for your autograph then give them the time of day right back. Give them the effort, give them the focus to sign something real quick, to have a quick conversation or to take a quick picture. Don't do anything to diminish yourself in their eyes. This is something that I'm really trying to focus on in my everyday life, being present in the conversations that I'm in. Whether it's with, could just be with my roommate sitting on the couch. It could be out in public. I just wanna make sure that I'm not letting my mind wander onto something else that I could be doing right now or something else that I have later on down the road. I want to make sure I'm not pulling out my phone. If somebody's taking their time out of their day and giving me the respect to focus on me, then I need to be reciprocal and giving it right back to them and making sure I give them my undivided attention. Takeaway number two is put other people's goals first. It all boils down to when you help others achieve their goals, you're going to start achieving yours and they'll support you and achieving your goals. He had that really shift in mindset and change in perspective early on in his career. When it when he changed, it wasn't all about me, 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 but it's about having the conversations with his teammates and the different people around him about what are your goals? What are you trying to work on right now? What do you want out of your career? Because when you start having those conversations with those people, you can figure out how you can best support them. When you best support them, you'll find inevitably that they'll support you and that your goals will also come true as well. And this goes outside of just sporting relationships. It goes to any relationships that you're in in your everyday life. It could be in your job, any kind of business relationship. Like start asking your coworkers, what are your goals? What are you working on right now? How can I best support you in that? Then they're going to do the same thing for you and you guys are going to move up together. If you're a boss or a leader, this is such a great way to enroll other people in your vision, to get other people to rally around you and support you in whatever it is you're trying to build as a team. And you're going to really build that foundation of camaraderie. This also goes into personal relationships. Like if you ask your significant other, what are your goals? What do you see out of this relationship? Would you like to travel? What kind of experience? you want to have. If you have these types of conversations about goals, you can a lot more easily find a better fit in your significant other. And a lot of times it can save you a lot of pain and suffering down the road because if you don't have those conversations, maybe you don't find other people's what the other people's goals are until six months, eight months, one year, two years down the road. And then you're a lot, the breakup can be a lot more painful than it could have been if you were willing to have that conversation about goals a little bit earlier on. Number three is do your job. Steve talks about this as one of the very important things into helping him perform under pressure. I love his quote, control what you can control and pray like hell about the things you can't. He talks about not really over worrying about other teammates roles, other people's whatever they had to do in the game to be successful. Worry about yourself. Worry about your role. And that way you can keep that narrow focus. And when you keep a narrow focus, you just perform that much better because we can't multitask. This is something that I try to tell myself as much as possible. Try not to do too many things at once. Like That doesn't mean you need to just have one goal at any point in time or just one goal in a day. Like Just have a particular task that you're trying to do. Get that done and then go to the next one. Don't try to do both of them at the same time. Like if you're on your computer at work, don't have two tabs open at the same time. Or maybe if if you have to have two, have both open, but don't have multiple windows. Do whatever you're doing, get that done, give your full focus, effort, and energy to that, and then move to the next one. Control what you can control and pray like hell about the things that you can't. So again, guys, my three takeaways. Give everyone your autograph. It's about giving everybody the time of day, being present with them, 
Because if they're willing to give you the respect, their time and energy, then be reciprocal and give it right back. Number two, put other people's goals first. When you help other people achieve their goals, you're more likely to achieve their goals. Zig Ziglar said, if you help enough people out achieve their goals, you will achieve yours. If it's it, This goes to just whatever relationship you're in, business relationships. If you're a leader, rally other people around your vision, around your goal as a team by supporting them in whatever their individual goals are. Number three is do your job. It helps you to perform under pressure. If you keep a narrow focus on one particular task, one particular goal you're trying to achieve, achieve it, then move on to the next one. Keep it small and simple. Don't make it too complex because complex is the enemy of execution. If you make something too complex, you're gonna find a reason for yourself to not get that done. So keep a narrow focus. So I hope you guys really loved this Steve Bartkowski interview. Again, if you haven't listened to it yet, I highly encourage you to go back. I mean, you heard about these three great takeaways that I got out of the episode. So I hope you guys maybe find these three takeaways and maybe a couple of your own that you can start applying to your life and start getting closer and closer to your best you.